I face the barren waste without the taste of water. Well, hello. Today is April 29th. I took the day off and went fishing. It is overcast and cool and windy. River is running high and plenty cold. Thought I would take a few minutes here to show you some of the flies I use for fishing. Um, most of these I tied myself. These are typically for um, salmon, some for steelhead. I haven't really been any place where I can catch steelhead, but uh, none of these really mimic anything except for maybe a couple of shrimp patterns. Just things that are bright and colorful and catch a salmon's attention. Even though they don't feed when they're swimming up river in the fresh water, you can still uh, trigger their feeding instincts and responses. Um, also, there are trout and Dahlia Varden in some waters. Very often, uh, they're found in and around salmon. And in those situations, I like to use uh, beads, which actually imitate salmon eggs. These reddish ones are ones that I would fish when the salmon are running. And if you find a big, uh, big old hen salmon, very often there will be a trout or a dolly or some other fish uh, very close behind them waiting for uh, the eggs to be released and they, uh, they don't pass up protein, I'll tell you what. So there are others, these are more of a mottled uh, peach sort of color, depends on the different uh, species and how long they've been in uh, the water. This time of year I would fish something that's even uh, dingier looking, more of a, a brownish grayish color. Like one that's uh, eggs that have been uh, in the water since since last fall, last summer. Also, they uh, love uh, salmon flesh, and it just breaks off in chunks as the fish actually deteriorate in the water. And so, the one on the bottom there would be more uh, more of the flesh from salmon right after or after they've run so more of a fresher salmon and then the peach color would be even older and then the tan color is a salmon that's been chunks of salmon that have been uh, floating in the in the water for quite a while um, definitely not like your rocky mountain uh, trout fishing for sure but uh, you you do what it takes and you adapt and uh, you do what you have to to catch the fish. That's my semi-modified Missouri Meerschaum Patriot with the short stem on it. Uh, great for great for fishing and hiking. It stays out of the way while I'm uh, got my hands on the rod. Got the old uh, Walmart. <coughs> excuse me, the old Walmart six weight up here. Uh, I don't know how long I'll be able to tolerate the freezing water, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So here we are, up close and personal with Wild Alaska. This is a moose that was uh, chewed on by a bear, it would appear. Sometime, uh, I don't know, over the winter, most likely. It's right about the end of April right now. Still quite a bit of snow. Water is high and cold. Uh, you can see they, uh, between the bears and the wolves, there is uh, nothing left but actual skin and bones. This is why I carry bear spray and a great big gun. Well, no fish for this trip, but since I'm off today, I'm calling it Beer 30. Whatever time it is where you are, I hope you'll know God's love, joy, and peace today. Water. Oh, Dan and I with throats burned dry.